off to a good start. Hey guys, it's your boy Enigma Trash. So I ran into an early birthday present and I thought I would record and document the process of building it, which is my brand new PC. And obviously you gotta start with the instructions, sort out some screws, put them in a plastic bowl, whip out your motherboard like an idiot, put your motherboard on your PC, close the box, realize you've got your knife, grab the knife, and then struggle to get the actual motherboard out of the fucking bullshit wrapping. So I couldn't fit the motherboard in, so I had to remove the fan. And uh, yeah, I tried twice before realizing, yep, gotta remove that shit. So I removed the back fan, which came pre-installed in the case. And that's when I realized that the standoffs were not in the correct position for my motherboard. So it took me a while to figure out how to fucking get rid of those. I disappear, I go find my toolbox, which should have the tools that I need, because all I bought for this excursion was a Phillips head screwdriver. So I grab a ratchet and then I find a bunch of mismatching pieces to fit around the standoffs, because my poor dainty little fingers were not enough to actually unscrew those bad boy standoffs. I go for the process of unscrewing the standoffs that I don't need and don't mind my bald spot during this process. This takes forever and essentially what I'm also doing is I'm swapping between watching Degrassi on the television in the lounge room and uh, installing the standoffs where they're supposed to be. Uh, a lot of uh, looking back and forth and, you know, just making sure it's all in the right spot. Now all the standoffs are all in place, we grab our Ryzen 7 5800X, put that shit in, make sure you don't bend the pins. Then we grab our RAM, which is C4's 32 gig set, DDR4, push till you hear the clicks. Then we unscrew the heatsink and chuck in our SSD 500 gigabytes for a boot drive. Any essential programs should be enough by me. Chuck her in, peel off the thermal pad on the heatsink, chuck that back on. And now we get to peel off all the bullshit on the motherboard and place that into the case. This next section is just a lot of screwing like I did to your mom last night and uh, just making sure that we go in somewhat of a star-like pattern just make sure that the uh pressure is evenly dispersed so you know you're not breaking anything from here we're just uh cleaning up our work area so there's not just a bunch of random fucking bullshit everywhere and we grab our big boy power supply as you may see, I actually vinyl wrapped the side of this power supply because the case itself has a window for the power supply and I like purple. So I thought I'd wrap it purple. So we install the fucking power supply. I just make sure it looks all good. And now onto the AIO 120ml cooler, a quick drink. I'm not gonna lie, this cooler was the bane of my existence. The setting up process was pretty easy positioning also relatively easy getting the cooler to latch on to the standoffs that are pre-installed onto the motherboard because uh, being an amd i didn't have to change over any back plates or anything uh just watch and you'll see how long it fucking took now just remember this video is being sped up by one thousand percent so it literally doesn't take two hours just to get through the first half of this so this bad boy that I'm struggling with currently is the first AIO cooler I've ever used or uh, built a PC with. It is a Cooler Master Master Liquid ML120L V2 RGB AIO, AIO cooler. Now this is maybe the second or third PC that I've ever built. I'm not a professional, I do not claim to be one. Um, I believe the title of this video is How Not to Build a PC. <laughs> Now, while I'm struggling with this uh, process, I'm gonna list off the specs. So, first off, we have a Gigabyte B550M Aurora Pro P motherboard, which is a micro ATX form factor. Um, sitting on that is an AMD 7 5800X processor. On top of that, we have the 
thing that I'm struggling with here, the Cooler Master Must Liquid ML120L V2 RGB AIO Cooler. Slightly to the side of that ensemble, we have the T Force Delta RGB 32 gigabyte kit, which is two 16 gigabyte sticks of RAM, DDR4. Underneath everything, we have a Samsung 970 Evo Plus NVMe SSD 500 gigabyte and a Seagate Barracuda 4 terabyte hard drive. And then the piece of resistance is the MSI GeForce RTX 3060 Ventus 2xOC 12 gigabyte. Powering all that is the Cooler Master MWE Gold Fully Modular 850 Watt V2 Power Supply. And all that is wrapped up in a nice little deep cool matrix 55 mesh ARGB case. With, I believe it's four fans pre installed, three at the front, one at the back. Now, as I said, it really did take me a long time to get this AIO to sit properly, like a very long time, an embarrassingly long time, but we eventually got there, thank fuck. So we just spent some time running the uh, CPU fan and the uh, CPU optional wires and then just repositioning the actual radiator and the fan itself because I realized, you know, getting screws in is important. And then also later on I had to get the power in for the motherboard which is up in that top left hand corner and a little bit of a bitch to get to. So right now it's looking pretty neat but uh, give it time. Right about now is when uh, Lady Trash gets home from work. Say hello. Hey. Uh, nothing very special about this section of the video. It's just me running um, fan cables and, you know, all the things to the correct headers. It uh, took a, a while. Uh, you know, I just wanted to take my time and, you know, not stress myself out, not, not, not rush it, you know, try to do it properly. And I think I did that.
I do this a few times, but uh, I take the power supply and I put it back in. And then at some point I take it out again. I put it back in. But right now I'm just, uh, you know, figuring out what cords that I actually need for uh, what to power the whole system. Uh, you know, just check if it's a eight pin or a four pin on that fucking thirty sixty. The beast of a fucking big boy. Big upgrade for the sixteen sixty, I reckon. And here we go. We get to install the bad boy, the piece of resistance, the 3060. And this is a uh, pretty smooth. Goes in, no worries. Just uh, as easy as pie.
So I don't know what happened. Um, we went shopping and when we came back, uh, the camera had zoomed in or something, but it is what it is. So the rest of it is just, you know, final touches, running wires, making sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Um, and then, well, I don't do any cleaning up on camera and that's probably a good thing because, uh, my cable management is, uh, let's say not 10 out of 10, <laughs> but it works and it's my PC. So I'm not too worried when working on someone else's PC. Obviously I'd take a lot more care than I do on my own, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. And now we witness me setting up for what is always the most terrifying part of the build. And that is the moment of truth. Does it post? Is everything detected in the BIOS? Does it work? Well, let's find out in real time, shall we? So my reaction may not seem like a lot uh, because, well, it posted and, you know, I was extremely happy over that, but um, fan, so, uh, one of the fans wasn't lighting up, so I had to go back and go again. So this is the shot of the fans actually working and everything working together. Windows has already been installed. Everything was detected. Yeah. I tell not to build a PC with your boy, Enigma Trash. I know it's kind of hidden away, but uh, it's the only place I can really put it. So enjoy these uh, close-ups. <laughs> 